Evan Mobley's potential to dominate the court and his value for the Cavs is clear as day, even to the casual fan. Standing tall with his towering presence, Mobley possesses a unique blend of skill, athleticism, and basketball IQ that sets him apart from others. His versatility as a coach's dream, seamlessly transitioning between positions and impacting the game on both ends of the floor, Mobley's presence commands attention and respect. But it's not just his on-court abilities that make Mobley invaluable to the Cavs. It's his work ethic, humility, and team-first mentality that truly endears him and fans and teammates alike. Despite the hype surrounding him as a top draft pick, Mobley remains grounded, constantly striving to improve and contribute to the team's success. His unselfish play and willingness to do whatever it takes to win makes him a beloved figure for the Cavs locker room. As he continues to grow and develop his game, the sky is the limit for Mobley, and the Cavs can't help but feel excited about the bright future ahead and him leading the charge. When the Cavs played the Hornets in a 115-92 victory, in the win, the Cavs recorded a season-high 41 assists, their most in the regular season or postseason in nearly 10 years. A career-high of 8 assists came from Evan Mobley. The 22-year-old had an efficient, well-rounded performance. He also added a team-high 17 points on 67% shooting from the field, 7 rebounds, and 1 steal in just under 25 minutes of playing time. With this stat line, he ended up joining the very exclusive company. Mobley is just the fourth player in NBA history to tally at least 17 points, 7 rebounds, 8 assists in a game in 25 minutes or less at the age of 22 or younger. The only other players to do this are 2024 All-Star Scotty Barnes, two-time NBA MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Hall of Famer Clyde Drexler. Mobley also became just the second player in Cavs franchise history to record this stat line, regardless of age. Former Cleveland forward Kevin Love achieved this mark in his victory over the Detroit Pistons on November 4th of 2022. Playing his second game since returning from an ankle injury that nearly cost him most of March, Mobley tied Jared Allen and George Niang for the team's scoring lead while posting strong all-around numbers. Over the 10 games he's been able to play after the All-Star break, Mobley has averaged 15 points, 9 rebounds, and 4.1 assists on 1.5 blocks and 1 steal while shooting 57% from the field, and the Cavs figured to lean on the third-year big heavily while Donovan Mitchell remained sidelined. Despite the embarrassing loss, Mobley tallied 15 points and was a perfect 2 for 2 from 3 in 21 minutes on Sunday versus the Heat. Mobley was on a restriction of 20 to 25 minutes, and the Cavs didn't worry about overworking him after Miami rolled to a 21 point lead at halftime, 33 point lead after 3 quarters. The traditional box score numbers might not scream rising offensive superstar. But Evan Mobley is taking some significant strides on that side of the ball. As a prospect, his defensive capabilities were never in question, and rightfully so. Coming out of the University of South Carolina, Mobley was expected to be an impactful interior defender from day one. With this link, timing, and athleticism, there was no reason why he couldn't be an effective rim protector out of the gates. He's only become better on that side of the ball. Not only is he still one of the most feared shot blockers in the league, but he's also shown to be extremely versatile, capable of sliding along on the perimeter on switches and containing opposing ball handlers. Playing alongside Jared Allen, he becomes a fanatic roamer, a defender who acts free safety to a wall that drives off passing lanes, and affects shots as a weak side rim protector. His offense though took longer to come along. As a rookie, he showed flashes of advanced skills that could make him more than just a rim finisher off pick and rolls, dump offs, and lobs. He showed signs of being an above average passer for a big man, flirted with a respectable mid-range jumper and even flashed a little ball handling for his size. But in his first season, most of those traits were more theoretical than actually effective. Since then, he's turned those promising abilities into actual strengths. He's improved his assist numbers every year so far while keeping his turnovers down. He possesses one of the more respectable mid-range shots in the league. He can also be seen running the offense and handling the ball in multiple possessions every single Cavs game. He's even started to extend the range, having shooting 31% from three on just under an attempt per game this season. So while his offensive improvements are undetectable using the standard box scores, Moby has certainly taken a step forward as a weapon. There's still plenty of room for him to grow too. He's been able to improve his shooting marks over the board just so far this season, but is still averaging a career low in field goal attempts with just 11.2 a night. His free throw rate is very low for someone who projects to be a dangerous inside scorer. Both of those numbers should go up organically as he grows into a larger role in offense. 